So stick around because <laughs> uh, Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, Max Q. lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. Views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Boost engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. ...was icing on the cake. Everyone here absolutely pumped to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight. The first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. As we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a RUD during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship and the goal was to gather the data and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's gonna happen, but as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. <laughs> 